John from Ride Upstate here. I want to talk to you today about three things that I think delivery apps need to change to make things easier for drivers. And I think it'll also create a better experience for the drivers, the customers, and it will really enhance the platforms. The first thing I'd like to see is a distance filter. What do I mean by a distance filter? It would be nice to set a limit on how far you're willing to drive total for a delivery. So in my area, it doesn't make sense to set a delivery filter for five miles because most of the trips that I take in my area are over five miles. Just to give you an example, last night I did deliveries. I drove 75 miles doing deliveries. And it's because it's such a large area. But if you're in a denser area, you want to shrink that down. You want to get that down to, say, no more than two miles so that you can take advantage of the dense population of where you are. Maybe you're just at a point where, look, I don't want to put a ton of miles on my car. And so I'll take the shorter trips. These are both situations where having a distance filter would be very helpful. So we'd be able to set a filter and say, don't give me any trips over five miles, or don't give me any trips under five miles, whatever the case may be for that day. Typically speaking, you're going to get paid more. At least this is what I'm saying in my area. I get paid more for the farther out I have to go. And that's primarily usually due to the tips that I receive from the customers because they realize that I'm driving a long way and are willing to tip well for that. But it still would be nice to be able to say, don't give me trips longer than a set mileage amount. The second thing I'd like to be able to do is have a restaurant blacklist. I can't tell you the number of times that I've declined trips because I don't want to go to a particular restaurant. And I have thumbs down the restaurant three or four times, and I still get trips from it. When I'm driving passengers, if I give a passenger a low rating, they have a system in place to keep me from pairing up with that passenger. It would be nice to have the same thing for a restaurant. Now, what would that mean? That would mean if a restaurant suddenly is getting a flood of thumbs downs because whether it's from a customer or from a driver, if they're getting tons of thumbs downs, then they Uber would just remove them from the platform. But that's not happening because Uber Eats is pretty much the only thing that's generating income, a decent amount of income right now for them. But there are certain restaurants where the experience is just so atrocious and I shouldn't have to be penalized by declining an order and having my acceptance rate go down because a restaurant is providing poor service, not only to the customer, but also to me as a delivery driver. If I have to wait 10 minutes in line in order to pick up an order in a drive through that's too long. If I check the orders repeatedly and see that items are missing, I shouldn't have to suffer by declining trips to that restaurant. I should just be skipped over. And so having a restaurant blacklist. The third thing I'd like to see is a delivery types filter. So what do I mean by that? Well, on DoorDash, I can go to Walmart and pick up groceries that the Walmart shopping crew have put together. And at CVS, I can go and actually shop and it takes a long time to get these items to go in, check out, go through all the extra steps in the app and and then deliver that item. It can be a half hour of work for eight or nine bucks, which isn't really worth it to me. So I'd like to be able to say I don't want these shopping trips, just block shopping trips entirely. And I don't see that in DoorDash Maybe you see it. If you do know, please let me know in the comments below how I can block that because I I don't ever want to walk into a CVS again for DoorDash. All right, so those are the three things that I think would help improve these platforms for drivers. And I think in the long run, 
help these apps as well because they won't have drivers declining trips. The first thing would be a distance filter so that drivers can determine how far they want to drive per trip. The second thing would be a restaurant blacklist so that drivers can say, don't send me anything from the, these particular restaurants or stores. And the third thing would be a delivery type filter where the, the driver doesn't get even any requests that are of a shopping type, or maybe they don't want it. Well, I mean, delivering alcohol is an option, but maybe they don't want to do stacked orders or something like that. These would be really helpful features that I think will help the platform overall, because then you don't have these requests bouncing from driver to driver to driver. The people who want those requests will get the requests. That's all that I have for today. Thanks for watching this video. As always, you can like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I really appreciate your support. I've got a Venmo link, rideupstate.com slash Venmo. If you want to directly support this channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Remember, just because you're in a small market, it doesn't mean you need to settle for a small profit.